I'm a huge fan of Marimo notebooks. They are a reactive and impressive alternative to Jupyter notebooks. And we did some videos previously on the channel that I'll link just below here. In this video, what we're gonna do is look at Molab, which allows you to create, run, and share cloud-hosted Marimo notebooks. That's super useful for sharing content and notebooks with other people in your team and beyond. So essentially, Molab is a cloud-hosted notebook service, and it's provided by the official Marimo team. So that is super useful. It provides an experience that's similar to Google Colab if you've used that. And we're gonna take a look in this video. Before we get started, if you want to support the channel, check out our coffee page. And thank you very much to everyone that's contributed to that. And if you're finding this content useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. So let's get started. And we're gonna take a look at the Marimo documentation and some news from Marimo. They are joining CoreWeave. So we can read this announcement here just to begin with. Marimo is joining CoreWeave. And that's gonna allow them to continue building out open source Marimo notebooks and also leveling up the Molab platform that we're going to look at with some serious compute power. And they have this disclaimer here, Marimo is and always will be free, open source and permissively licensed. So some exciting news for Marimo. Let's now move on and we're gonna look at Molab, the cloud platform for hosting these notebooks. Now you can create your own workspace of notebooks here. I'm logged in to my own workspace and what we can do is look at the example notebooks provided. So we can take a look at this Welcome to Marimo notebook that we have here. And what we can see is the notebook in the format that it's been uploaded. But we can also fork and run this. And I'm going to do that just now. And we can actually then amend these notebooks in the cloud and then share them with other people. And that includes interactivity that's built into Marimo. For example, using user interface widgets. So we forked the notebook and we can run the cells as before but we can also now edit these cells. So for example, if we want to increase the slider values here, the range, we can do so, execute that, and then we can see here that we can change these slider values. So once we execute this cell here, we can increase the slider value here, and you can see the number of these items or icons is increasing as well. So that's nice and reactive, and you get more information here. We're not gonna go over all of this, but the important point is you can create notebooks and you can share these in the cloud to other people in your team or beyond. So we can copy this notebook URL at the top. And if I open an incognito browser, let's paste the link in here and you're gonna see that we can access this notebook that we have in the cloud. And we can therefore share that and that is super useful for data and for analytics and exploration and so on. Now let's go back to this notebook here. And in fact, we can go back to the main page here. And what we're gonna do is actually create a new notebook from scratch. And that's gonna be blank, a blank uh, slate here. And you can see the name given at the top, untitled Magenta Swan, a random name. And of course you can call this whatever you want. So let's call it data exploration. And we can execute simple Python statements here. If we want to find out the value of five plus five, we can do so. But more importantly, what we can actually do here is import a number of very useful packages for data. So I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of these just now. We can import NumPy as NP, and we're gonna find out that NumPy is baked into the environment here on this cloud notebook. So we can create an array with a couple of values, let's say, and we can save this. And when we execute the cell, you can see we get the NumPy array printed out to the terminal. So NumPy is available out of the box in this environment. And pandas and polars are also available, so you can pick your favorite data frame library. In this case, we're using pandas here to display this data frame. And if we switch the code up to use polars instead of pandas, we can also execute this and we get back a data frame here. Another thing that comes built into the environment is Pydantic, which means you can create your model classes, such as this measurement class here that inherits from the Pydantic base model and contains two fields, one for value and one for the time at which the measurement was captured. And you can execute this and see the resulting Pydantic model class at the bottom here. So that's gonna be really useful if you're doing data engineering or data analytics and you need to validate data and perhaps transform data as it progresses through your pipelines. You have Pydantic available here to do that kind of validation. So a lot of useful packages out of the box. Let's just remove this code. And at the left-hand side on Marimo Notebooks, you can actually manage and explore the packages that you do have installed. So if we go to the list of packages installed here, you can see all of these. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. You can see that we have data visualization packages like Altair, and there are other ones installed here, such as Bokeh, as well as Matplotlib, Seaborn, and Plotly. So that's really useful for data visualization. We also have Beautiful Soup. So if you're doing any web scraping or HTML parsing, that's gonna be available out of the box. And you can see here we have Black, and I believe we also have Rough installed as well if you're doing code formatting. 
So a lot of really useful stuff here. We even have Chroma DB for vector database workflows. And if we scroll a little bit further down here, we have DuckDB as well. So lots of useful packages. I'm not going to go through all of these, but we have additional things like NetworkX. If you're using graph or network based data, you want to analyze that. We have OpenCV and Pillow installed for image processing. And we have the OpenAI client if you're interfacing with any OpenAI language models. That's installed by default as well. And we also have PySpark, Scikit-Learn, Spacey, and many other tools that are useful for data science. And of course, if you need to install additional packages into the notebook environment on this cloud-hosted platform, Molab, you can actually do so as well. So let's say we need Langchain in this. We can add that at the top, and that's going to pull that down and install Langchain into the environment. And after that installation, you can see we have Langchain and Langchain Core available in this notebook. Now this package manager here is super useful. It's built into Molab on the cloud. It's also available locally in Marimo notebooks. And it means you can install packages and inspect what actually is installed from the comfort of the Marimo notebook itself. You don't need to jump to the terminal and so on. And it works seamlessly in this cloud environment. So I think having so many useful packages installed out of the box, that enables this to be super versatile. You can use it for data analysis, data engineering, also exploration and visualization of data, as well as machine learning workflows. And with LLMs being all the rage, there are tools as well already installed and tools that can be installed very easily to work with those models. So I don't want to do anything with the notebook. I just want to show that you can create these notebooks. You can share them with other people and they have all of the tools needed for the execution of the code built into the environment and you can install packages and change packages and so on. Now what we can also do is we can actually download this locally. So once you've created your notebook, you can copy the URL and we're going to open a terminal. So I have a terminal installed and I'm using UV to manage the Python environment. We can run the Marimo command alongside help just to make sure everything is installed here. And we get back the help docs here. We can clear that out. And what we're going to do is run the Marimo edit command. This is what we normally use to create or update a notebook locally. But instead of providing a local Python file, what we're going to do is copy the URL that we have here. And I've added something super useful to this notebook. We're printing 5 plus 5 and we can paste the URL here. And that's how we can actually take a notebook that's on Molab and download it locally. All we need to do is provide the URL for that notebook to the Marimo edit command. Let's execute that and we're going to see what happens. Now we get a message that the notebook is hosted on a remote server. Would we like to run it in a secure Docker container? You can do that if you want for added security. That gives it a bit of isolation from the rest of your operating system. I'm just going to select no to that and you can see that it's downloading that. And you can see it's spinning up that notebook now on this window and we have this revolutionary notebook here with the 5 plus 5 statement. But the important concept here is that you can actually share any code you want. This could be some complex analysis of a data set that you have on the cloud somewhere. It could be anything you want. Now we have it locally and you can actually make those changes locally and potentially push a new notebook up to Molab. So that's been a bit of a whirlwind tour of Molab. It's got all of the good stuff that comes with local Marimo notebooks built into the cloud in a super versatile environment that allows you to share those notebooks with other people. I think this is really cool and it replaces things like Google Colab where you're using Jupyter notebooks. I prefer Marimo notebooks and I'm going to be going with this going forward. And much of the teaching coming up on this channel is potentially stuff we can share using these Marimo notebooks. So that's something I'm going to be looking at as well. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. If you want to support the channel, check out our coffee page. And if you want to become a member as well, we've opened up memberships recently. You can find the link on the channel page on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video.